Guys, today we are going to get GNSS on the Dominator with a stock prop. Then I have this aftermarket one that was built by Dr. Prop that we're going to try out. I didn't buy this prop again, my group did. So we're going to try We're going to see what the speed difference is. So this prop is supposed to be pretty hot, so we'll see. But I don't know, it's supposed to run warm, it's supposed to be faster, it's supposed to be better at oval, so we'll give it a try and then we'll see. Get the GNSS tape down the best I can. Let's go get a stock run out of this, then we'll throw the upgrade probably out of my pocket. We'll just bring everything down there with us and get that done. So I'll keep running up here in two minutes. So let's do let's see, I don't think I started it yet. So there we go. It is working. All right, let's see what we got there for a reading. Forty-two. That is it off that stock prop. Ouch. Let's kind of watch it one more time. Just make sure it's not really wet. Oh, uh, you know what? It does look a little wet. But today, I don't really want to play with adjustments today. I just want to drive. Oh, did you guys see that? So we're going to take it in. Uh, I think I started it again. Let's see if I started it again. If I didn't, then I didn't. So let's go on track. Start one more time. See if we can do a little bit better than what we had there. This bolt does not have reverse, guys. So, like, if you get stuck straight into something, you're screwed. So, just keep that in mind if you decide to buy one. Give it a couple more shots here. I will say those bolt controls, amazing. I mean, these are full throttle pulls, guys. So before I kill this battery too much, let's actually bring it into shore. And let's throw that other prop I have on it. Let's go check the... Let's go check what we got for a speed. So stop. So 40 that time, yeah. I'm not very impressed with that. Let's see what we get. With this upgraded prop on it. Let's see if we can do anything better than that. I think we should be able to. I wanna look and just make sure that I don't think my adjustments changed. I don't know, it looks faster than that to me. So let's take this prop off, guys. You should always shut your bolts off before you do this. Make sure no one can grab your radio. I get really nervous doing this, if I'm being honest, because I don't want to chop my hands off. I feel like having hands, but. Okay, 
so that should be good. I think it's still functioning. Let's get it back in the water here. Let's get our GPS. Let's go track, start. So it does look faster. So let's just check quick. Let's see what we got for a speed. So that bumped it up five miles per hour, that prop. So let's go track, let's go start. Let's give it a few good rips through here again. Holes here. Guys, I will say this Dominator, it handles phenomenally. It's crazy how good this thing handles. And it's not like a I've noticed with a lot of other boats too, you have to be given gas to turn with this thing. If you go, you get off the gas, it'll still turn, which is just nuts. Handling, awesome. Only 43 that time. Yeah, guys, I'm not gonna speed test anymore. I'm gonna have to come out one day and tune it. Uh, I'm gonna have to come out and tune it. I don't have time today. I've only got one pack with me. So we're gonna run this pack out, just enjoy it. And guys, I mean, I'm not really even taking off the gas when I'm turning. I'm a little bit, but then I'm getting back into it.
we go. Hit LVC finally with this boat. 